Hey guys, so um, got a package today in the mail. Just gonna try and show you this on the camera they, there. From uh, Wazoo Survival Gear. That's their website right there. Um, I'll also put it in the comments so you guys can check them out. They just went went up a couple days ago. Um, other than that, they've been selling their gear on Facebook. They also have a YouTube channel. Check them out. They're, they got some pretty awesome stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And uh, probably later on, I'll uh, do a review on uh, a couple of the items in here. So um, I already ripped it open just for sake of time. But... Alright, so... I already knew that what they were sending me, which, um, thank you guys a bunch if you're watching. Um, so first thing is the contents, they call it in a bag. Um, so it's everything that comes with, um, each of their, either the companion, uh, keychain or the bracelet. And this is just the item separately so that I don't have to destroy the, uh, the keychain in order to give you guys a decent review. So, um, this is the stuff that I'm going to be doing the actual review on. And then they sent me, the, it's called a companion keychain. So I can show you guys what it looks like. And you can pick your colors, guys. They have tons and tons of colors. And that's what it looks like. There, it's about two plus inches. <clears throat> then you get your little nameplate there. This one says Wazoo. You can get your name or whatever you want on there, which is, which is a cool feature. To personalize like I said they have a bajillion different colors so you can um, do whatever you want I did like a camo um, and then like a brown or excuse me a green but um, on the back of sorry this is backwards um, on the back of what your stuff comes in it tells you everything that's on the inside of this so the great thing about wazoo is what they do is if you guys don't know anything about them is they take they make basically a mini survival kit in stuff you carry with you all the time without having it to be in an Altoids can or whatever. They make bracelets. They make <clears throat> keychains. I think they're working, um, the beginning of the year, they're going to be coming up with some new stuff. But I think they're working on, like, dog collars and, you know, <clears throat> bigger items. Um, I don't know if they're going to be putting more stuff in them. But basically, if you're left... With, like, you know, how people, like me, I just have this regular paracord bracelet, okay? They take something like this, and they make it into a survival kit. So, it, <clears throat> so, for instance, this keychain, that's about, you know, it's not very big, which is part of the idea. It's more of, like, a minimal, minimalist survival. It has, um, obviously the paracord. There's a fire steel in here, a needle, 20 feet of 50-pound test braided fishing line a fishing hook and then you have the name plate and the little lanyard deal right there so um it's the nothing's gonna cut you or stick you the needle or the hook or any of that stuff it's all braided up in there um you just have to untangle this paracord and it's right it's in the center okay so if you were to need to use it you just unravel it and get the stuff that you need the nameplate, like each item in here has multiple uses. They give a few ideas on the back here. I'll read through a couple of them. Um, like the nameplate, you can use it as a striker for the fire steel, which is, I think, the main use. Also, a sinker or spinner for fishing, a signal mirror, or you can sharpen one edge of it and make it like a blade. Okay, so that's like four or five items, or four or five uses just on this nameplate deal right there. Okay, um, fishing hook, you know, basic stuff you can do with that. Um, the fishing line, you can use that to sew up wounds, you can use it to fish, you can use it to make snares, you can use it to, um, you know, repair clothing or gear. The needle, I mean, you can use it as a backup fishing hook, you can charge or statically charge it and float it on a leaf and use it as a makeshift compass. You can, um, you know, repair equipment with that again. The fire steel, um, obviously strike quickly to ignite a fire. And if you scrape really slowly, then you can come up with some flammable shavings. And then obviously the paracord, you can make nets, you can uh, make, you know, stuff to carry supplies or catch fish, uh, make shelter or raft. You could 
you know, get the inner strands out and use that if you run out of your fishing line um, to, for repairs. I mean, there's a million things you can do with this stuff. So, I just want to show you guys what I got. Um, I'll take this stuff out here, kind of show you what we got here. For the paracord, you get, there's two different strands, cause obviously, because of the two colors. And they're, you probably get, they're probably about three to four feet a piece. So you got a total of six to, six to eight feet probably. That's a reasonable amount. I mean, there's plenty you could do with this. You could tie them together and get one long strand or, you know, you could, there's plenty of stuff. I mean, it's, it's a decent amount of, of cordage and, uh, you know, you're just, this is all, that, you got like eight feet of cordage just in that little thing that you throw on your keys or throw in your pocket or whatever, okay? So remember, we're thinking minimal, minimalist here. <clears throat> okay, so then the stuff that's on the inside, I was really <clears throat> impressed. I just took a look here. This is the uh, 20 feet. Yes, 20 feet of 50 pound test braided fishing line. This is the best fishing line I have ever seen. Um, you can tell it's braided, it's green, it is super duper strong. I mean, this would easily be amazing for doing sutures, for um, sewing up your clothes, sewing up your gear. It is super duper strong. This is what you would want with you, not some of that clear plastic crap, okay? This is, when you're talking about fishing line and you're talking about cordage this is what you want right here this is awesome i'm super pumped about the quality of this because when you're talking about minimalist survival you're gonna want high quality stuff that's gonna work you know that's gonna do you well in a pinch so that's awesome i was super pumped about that try not to stab myself here so here's the hook I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a pretty small hook. You're not going to catch anything super duper big with that. But, um, you know, it's a hook. It's better than nothing. The needle. Um, on this, there's the needle. Again, I like the length of it. The length is good. I wish the eye, well, maybe not. I was going to say I wish the eye was a little bit bigger but, um, it seems to be okay. You can't probably see that. But, because I'm thinking, if I need to, um, put the, if I need to strip the paracord, I don't think the, I don't know if the inner strands would go through this. And the, the fishing line doesn't, doesn't seem to. So I wish the eyelet on the needle was a smidge bigger. But, um, you know, I like the size. You don't want anything too big. It's, of course, going to be sharp. But yeah, um, you'd have to un untwine the the um, fishing line. But you know, it's a it's a needle. It's more than what I have in this thing right here. So you know, it's something. This is just the little keychain. You could, I mean, I don't even know. You could use this as a sinker for fishing. Um, you could, you know, hang up your fish to dry over the over a fire you make. You could use this as part of your um, setting up camp if you needed your string to go through something. You could make a fishing hook out of this. There's a bajillion things. If you if you unthreaded this and straightened it out, you could probably do a lot of stuff with this. So, um, and and really, it's not even. I mean, it's on the outside. It's just there so you can put the nameplate on there. So, <laughs> I mean, it's it's an extra. Um, and then here's the nameplate. And it's got the two holes there for a lanyard, which is nice. And then here's the fire steel. Now, one of the biggest concerns that I had was to make sure that this fire steel is actually going to work. Because I have a fire steel that was probably more than... It probably cost me eight, nine bucks, just the fire steel. And I hate it. I never use it. Um, I try and, and practice with it. I It takes forever. It, yeah, I don't like it, so I don't use it. So, um, 
I'm gonna try this puppy out and see what we can get. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys to see it. See. Well, there's a little, little something. It doesn't seem to affect the, uh, the nameplate, which is nice. I didn't know if it would groove into it or leave any marks, but here's a little bit of a, here, let me try and Well, come on now. I was making sparks in the beginning. Not so much anymore. I can see where I'm scraping stuff off, but I don't seem to be getting much of a Spark. <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. I'm gonna work on that, I think. Now, I took it out earlier to play with it, and it sparked right up. So, of course, when I do it on video, it's not going to work for me. I keep hitting my thumb because it's so short, which, uh, you know, is part of it, I guess. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, honestly, I took it out of the package and just striked her up because I knew I wanted to see if how good it was going to work. And it, you know, first two strikes did two big sparks. And now it won't do nothing for me. Well, guys, I'll, uh... You know, I'll look more into that and see what I can come up with and see if I can get it to spark better. Um, but, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna play around with some of this stuff. I just want to show you what I got. And uh, I just want to thank you guys at Wazoo. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll definitely take a gander at all of this stuff and um, see what I can come up with. And I'll probably do a review within the next couple of days. Um, a hardcore review on each item and... You know, when you're talking minimalist, you got to talk about, okay, how, how much do I really need this? Could I replace it with something else that would be of more use? Um, so I'll go through that, and I'll come up with a video within the next couple of days. But um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.